The initial teaser for Alien Romulus has finally arrived, and it is full of face huggers, which may have been teased to us back on Alien Day when Fede Alvarez posted an image of one holding on to the film's clapperboard. It looked like the face hugger that we've come to know and fear from the other films, yet now we know that under further examination that there are new adaptations making it an even deadlier delivery system for the alien. And now with the teaser, we can see them in action, in groups no less, swarming, and fast as hell. Early leaks tell us a familiar story where Weyland yutani is experimenting once again with the alien. So let's examine the latest creation, the Romulus facehugger. Now this information comes to us via Mike's Monsters here on YouTube, a credible source who's seen an early print of the film. And he showed us that if you zoom in on the fingers of the hugger, that you'll notice small barbs or hooks on the end of them, similar to what is seen on the two front fingers of the royal facehugger of Alien 3, a horrifying evolution to something that wraps around your head. In most cases, when you try to remove one from a host, they will tighten their grip with both their fingers and their tail around the neck. But imagine a hugger that is digging in for that tighter grip with row of sharp claws on each finger that gets tighter and more embedded with each removal attempt. They could even be useful for self-defense, though with most threats, they would just use them as a host rather than fight them or to try to escape. They may even aid the aliens in being able to get into areas that they normally couldn't access before, as we see them burst through a window and a door in the teaser, and normally they are held in glass containers and are shown to not be able to break through any decently thick piece of glass, but perhaps the claws can be used to cut through glass or even steel. They are, after all, biomechanical in nature. This new strain of the facehugger is also equipped with a stinger tip tail, and apparently they can even hold their tails up in a raised position like a scorpion. There have been other aliens with stinger tip tails, most notably the scorpion alien of the Kenner toy line, though it's usually reserved for the tails of adult xenomorphs and hasn't until now made it into the main film canon. In the Aliens novel by Alan Dean Foster, during Ripley's evacuation of the Marines, Gorman wasn't knocked out when he was hit in the head with some boxes, instead he was stung by the tail of a xenomorph. When they find a suitable host, the facehuggers use injections and secretions to both subdue and stabilize the individual, and when needed, they are even known to secrete acidic blood to eat through the space helmet. But with face coverings that may be more acid resistant, like a predator helmet or an engineer bio suit, this new strain would be able to find an opening where it could sting its prey and knock it out, allowing them to remove the face covering and go to work. Something else we don't normally see with the face huggers is one that appears to be dead that is still on its host, with its proboscis still fully extended. In most cases, the face hugger after implantation leaves the host and finds somewhere secluded to die. That way when the others find the infected, they won't assume anything and will take the person back into their area or quarters where the resulting alien will have new resources to spread out and conquer. There doesn't appear to be any damage on the host scene here, so this hugger must be dead and not in the process of a removal. A swarm of face huggers can be pretty terrifying, but it raises a few questions. Were they awoken from their ovomorphs and footage we haven't seen, possibly just beyond that door? And with that many facehuggers, did the company make them like David did? Or is there a queen somewhere laying these eggs, hidden away on the station? Now we just have to wait for the film to see if we can learn even more about the Romulus strain of Alien. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.